It's SES New York 2012, and we are looking at tools, and here's a famous face, uh, Mr. Dixon Jones, uh, of uh, Majestic SEO. Famous to about, like, ten people in the industry. <laughs> so, for those who don't know you, can you uh, fill us in? What is Majestic SEO? So, uh, Majestic is the, uh, the largest link map on the planet. So, we crawl the internet, um, a la Google. Uh, we see around about 3 billion URLs a day. We've got about 100 billion URLs that we've seen in the last 30 days. 3.7 trillion that we've seen over the last five years. And what we do is we keep the, the link map of how different pages link to each other. So can you show us a little? Yeah, sure. So let's go and uh, have a look at the uh, state of search, um, which I queued up earlier. So uh, you put put, a, put any website you want into uh, into a Majestic SEO, uh, and we can go and see uh, links. So we can see that you know uh, you've got a state of search uh, over 20,000 links coming into your website from uh, 1,700 different websites. In actual fact, that's just the links that we've seen in the last 30 days. Um, uh, if we go back and have a look at all the old links and stuff like that, we can get nearly 100,000 from, from nearly 6,000 domains. But the stuff that we've seen in the last 30 days is pretty good. It, that, that will include old links as well. Uh, and then what we do is we break down that, that, that information at the top level by uh, how many of them are educational links, how many of them are frames and, and that sort of thing. And then underneath that we've got uh, a list of the top uh, referring domains here, who, who are the most important people that are linking through to you, uh, and so we can uh, dry, dive into those uh, and uh, quickly see which websites are linking to uh, state of search uh, and how many links they've got coming through, and we also include the Alexa rank there as well. Uh, and then uh, we can go and have a look at those, those backlinks as well uh, and start seeing all of those backlinks with uh, anchor text. Um, this number here is a, an idea of page strength, um, and so we can see absolutely everybody coming in from SEO FM to uh, you know to technorati.com and that sort of thing so uh, and then uh, on the uh, last bit of that we can see your strongest pages uh, which articles have really grabbed the attention of state of search so for example there's an awful lot of people that uh, linked in to um, to uh, uh, 10 ways to increase your Twitter followers uh, 10 essential tools to do it so that's actually uh, pretty much the second most popular page on your website in terms of uh, uh, links coming into your site uh, and so we can see uh, pretty much everything and then that's just the top level you can then get reports and you can start slicing and dicing that data based on anchor text based on dates found and that sort of thing okay so what is the uh, um, the one thing which makes Majestic uh, stand out uh, well, on other things. tools? Three. Bigger, faster, fresh. Bigger, faster. So we got the biggest data set. Um, we update uh, two to three times a day on the fresh index. Uh, so we have a fresh index that, that really updates quickly. And also, as you saw there, grabbing the information is really, really quick. So using the site is quick. We're not having to go and look up huge amounts of data on lots of different websites when we're uh, doing a search. It's all in the database. We've got a massive, great big data structure. So and so we can give it back to you really, really fast. So who should be using Majestic SEO? Is it just search marketers? Is it more? Uh, it's, uh, it's a number of people. Certainly search SEOs, professional SEOs and agencies should either be using us or uh, a data supplier like LinkedIn or somebody that, 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 that uses the data and builds other tools on top of it. Uh, then uh, on top of that, people like uh, affiliate uh, managers would use it because uh, this link data, a lot of the links uh, contain information about uh, affiliates, for example. So you could go on to a competitor's website that has an affiliate program, find out one of the affiliate links, and then say, right, I want all of the links that go to that website that contain this uh, little signature within the link structure. And all of a sudden, you've got a list of all of the competitors' affiliates. So that's another good use for it as well. OK. Any big changes coming up? Yeah. You're not telling it. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, and good luck on SES. Okay, thanks a lot.